Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Welcome to all. I am KB Satya, Department of ECE, and today we will see GPS. What do you mean by GPS? And this is all the agenda. First one is an expansion and definition of GPS. Second one, working principle of GPS and segment of GPS, explanation of each segment, applications of GPS and possible questions. So, first we will see what is GPS. Okay, GPS, it is abbreviated as Global Positioning System. It is a space based satellite navigation system. It provides location and time information in all weather conditions. Okay, so that I will repeat once again. Expansion and definition of GPS. So, GPS is abbreviated as Global Positioning System and the definition is it is a space based satellite navigation system. It provides the location and time information in all weather conditions. And second one we will see the working principles of GPS, working principle of Global Positioning System. The GPS works on the trilateration mathematical principle. Okay. This principle uses distance to points at known coordinates to locate an object's position and GPS has coded satellite signal that aims to compute position, velocity and time. Okay, I will repeat once again the working principle of GPS. The GPS works on the principle of trilateration mathematical principle. The, this principle uses distance to point at known coordinates to locate an object's position. GPS has coded satellite signals which aims to compute position, velocity and time and we will see what are the important segments of GPS. So, there are three segments of GPS, they are first one is an space segment, second one is an user segment and third one is an control segment. Okay, this is all the important three segments of GPS, I will repeat once again the three segments of GPS are first one is an space segment, it means a satellite okay. and second one is an user segment, user the word from the word user remember they are the receiver. Okay, user segment, receiver and control segment, control segment is nothing but the ground station. These are all the important three segments. Okay, the three segments are space segment, user segment and control segment. Okay, these are all the important three segments of GPS. Now, we will explain the each segment. First, we will see what is space segment. It consists of 24 plus satellites. Okay, the space segment in other word, it is a satellite. Okay, it consists of 24 plus satellites orbiting at the height of 20,000 kilometer per every 12 hours. Okay, each satellite has on board automatic atomic clock. Okay, it means UTC, it is an important two mark. UTC is expanded as coordinated universal time. Okay, this is an on board automatic clock for space segment. Okay, I will repeat again UTC, UTC is an important two mark which is expanded as coordinated universal time. Okay, and next the clock operates at the fundamental frequency of 10 megahertz which is used to generate the signal that are broadcast from the satellite. Okay, and GPS satellite broadcast on two carrier frequencies, one is an L1 and L2 and L3 to, together combined. Okay, it has six planes with 55 degree inclination, each plane has four to five satellites. And next segment is an user segment. User segment, it calculates the location based on the signal from the satellite. User segment requires GPS receiver in order to receive the transmission from the satellite. Okay, it consists of antenna and display. From the figure we can see this is the user segment. Okay, it consists of display which is used for showing the location and speed information. Third one is a control segment. It is a group of ground station which is used for purpose of monitoring and operating purpose. Okay, it consists of five unmanned monitor station and one master control station. Okay, five unmanned station monitor GPU satellite signals and send the information to the master control station. Okay, I'll repeat once again. So control segment has consists of five unmanned monitoring station and one master control station. Okay, this five unmanned monitor station it collects the signal and forward it to the master control station. Okay. This master control station, it corrects the anomalies and send back to the GPS satellite through the antennas. Okay, this is the important key points of the control segment. 
So, I will repeat once again. So, control segment it is a group of ground station which is used to, to monitor and operate. Okay. This control segment consists of 5 unmanned monitoring station and 1 master control station. Okay. So, keep remember. So, the points are important points are it has 5 unmanned monitor station and 1 master control station. This 5 unmanned station monitor GPS it collects the signals and send the information to the master control station. Again this master control st station it corrects the anomalies and send back to the GPS satellite through the antennas. The important application so, th so this is an important two mark mention the applications of GPS. So you have to write petroleum industry, power grids, space applications, air traffic control, personal navigation, transit operations, shipping operations, emergency service, vehicle and trucking. Thank you.